I got my Surface Pro 2 and I decided I should use it as a second monitor for my desktop computer. Well, why would I want to do that? So I can view stuff like GPU temperatures when I'm gaming and other stuff like that. I, I went to Google and found a Yahoo thread, but most of the comments said it was not possible since the laptop only has an output display port and not an input one. After digging around in the internet some more, I found this program called MaxiVista. It allows me to do what I want, but it doesn't support Windows 8, and I have to pay. The trial is only 14 days. I messed around with the display settings and eventually found a solution. So here's the solution. Okay, on your desktop computer, the first thing you want to do is actually make a ghost monitor. To do that, right click, click screen resolution, and in here, just go ahead and click detect. Depending on your computer setup, you might have more than one of these um, displays, this um, ghost display. Under multiple displays, go ahead and click and click try to connect anyway on VGA. Um, afterwards, just click apply. And you have your your ghost display. So then now under multiple displays, you can just go ahead click extend these displays and hit apply again. Once you got your multiple multiple displays done, you can see that you have a second screen that you can play around. This is your ghost display. There's no physical display connected in your comp on your computer. Um, you can change the resolution. I'm going to change it to 1080p because that's what my Surface Pro resolution is, and I like it on the left because Surface Pro is on my left. And hit apply, and just keep changes and save, and you're done next step is to have a remote desktop software so that the, in this case my surface can actually view the second desktop I'm going to use TeamViewer because number one I use it a lot and it's easy to set up um, just go ahead go to teamviewer.com it's easy to install just go ahead click download you don't need to make an account but you can it's easy to install I'm not going to download it again because I already downloaded it. So in TeamViewer, just notice your ID and your password. You might want to set up a personal password. You can go to, to do that, you can go to connection, click set up unattended access and just go through uh, set up set up your own personal password. Because this password, this random generator password always changes when TeamViewer reopens because uh, due to security reasons and your personal password just make it long so that you can easily connect because the personal password never changes unless you change it. Okay, once this is done, you can go ahead go to your laptop right now. Right now what I'm using here is my Surface Pro 2. So um you want to download Team Viewer, which I already have installed right over here. So um partner ID. Um you wanna actually key in your partner ID that you can actually find from Team Viewer on your host computer. So you just want to key in the ID that you find on the host computer. Just go ahead and type it in. It's right there. And just go ahead and click remote control. Um, you ask for a password. You can type in your own personal password or pre-configured password. There we are. Then you say you remote. Click this button here, and you'll be brought to the second display. So basically, right now, this is your second display, and um, you can you can interact with it, or you can just use your mouse. Right now, I'm, this the mouse I'm using is from from um, from my host computer. You, the remote desktop um, remote cursor usually is disabled. You can enable it by going here. A uh, remove wallpaper is also usually enabled, but you can just do that and <laughs> you can see the host cursor and it's quite smooth because um, your detect is over LAN and automatically connect via LAN and yeah it's um working now so I'll just go ahead open some apps there we are so this is how you use your laptop as a second monitor for your prime your primary desktop computer